does it seeker we'll just ignore that because after the brackets we go into the semi-finals yeah, and finals the, the, the problem with the tournament website is the formats are, if you want to do formats that they don't support it's a bit tricky yeah so everything on the tournament it just shows the brackets and so then no, exa have not won Conquest. I think they're playing a bit more seriously today. Yep. Nacho. What have we got? Playing. We got a Zwei, a Mesa, and a Polax. And I'll, I'll try not to overanalyze CQ's tactics because I. Hey, what? I mean, should if if the chat wants me to get all hype and fucking shout casty, I can try. I can get that shit done. <laughs> Maybe once we get you to the semi-finals. Here, a lot of broad, that. the broad uh, gist of it is gonna be like, "Holy shit, he hit him with a sword!" And that's like, that's, you know, <laughs> that's, I mean, that's, be... that's more or less how it ends up with a lot of shooty gun games as well. Yeah. What an absolute shot from that weapon that hit that man in the head! Huge plays down mid here, throwing smokes off of walls. This is not Mordhau. This is CS Go. Welcome. I, think, I think at this point we should have call outs for each Big squad of you know, mid Oh man, RTD Ben Rubik doing some crazy shit, some shiv spins, making it look very sexy. If that's your thing. I always think that, uh... I always think that players that can actually pull off the little spins and uppercuts and shit, they just look very fancy. Yeah, I... I big recently from the Mesa. Big, big fan of Undercuts. Print is putting I know work on the Mesa 7 1. Mm. I know Nachos, if you do an overhead combo and combo it into an underhand, it's very hard to read. And no one really does it at the moment except for Nacho. It's now, something trying to work on a bit. Quick more. Uh, little question for you guys here. Tell me, actually, it's not a question, it's more of a demand. Okay. <laughs> tell me, <laughs> tell me about Nacho, and why do most people consider him to be the best? Best. Um, what makes him better than the rest? Well, we only got to see it once yesterday, but he did, he's very good at playing the one in a 2v1, as well as... Like just, just like just thinking out the optimal way to play. Like, just like he's... got all of the mechanics down really well. So better than any other player. Very mechanically disciplined. Yeah. Yes. Just and very also, mechanically strong what, what player. What he has that a lot of people don't have is he's not predictable. He's not gonna like just do the same thing. You can't mm. rely on him to do something so you can gamble well. Something that I also find really interesting is that you'll notice a lot when, well, I mean, you guys probably haven't noticed it much because of being in the alpha. But when we first started playing the game, for the first maybe two, three weeks, it was a lot of body fainting, moving, like movement, crazy mouse movements trying to make people think you're doing shit. And it's slowly kind of backed off into much more mechanical sound movements. Yeah, those like and... body feints and movements like that. Yeah, a lot of, you see a lot of new players trying it, but it's just n never something that's going to work on an experienced it, player. It works. Yeah. It worked much better in Chivalry just because the animations were so much worse there. It was a lot laggier, a lot glitchier. So just spazzing your mouse about can yeah. fake people out. But Mordau is just a lot smoother, so it's much harder to do. And it's interesting also... to see that, like, the higher tier the player is, the more crisp it is to watch, if that makes sense. Because you notice it in, like, like a lot of you would have seen uh, Trix's videos, right? In all of uh... Trix's videos, you'll notice, like, there's barely any, like, crazy mouse movements. And everything just feels clean when you watch something like that. Nacho's the definitely... same. I mean, this, this is... So, sort of a negative comment some people had in the alpha, which it it's not really like an attack on him. It's just he plays to be cinematic more so than to win. Like, it's, mm -hmm. it's sort of the fault of the game. Like, good play isn't necessarily nice looking. 
and he plays it from a YouTube. Yeah. No, but what I'm saying is like, yes, he plays cinematically, and it's it's pretty obvious that but yeah, he does. Also, also but also just, when you look when you watch these, what you guys consider as like top tier players, a lot of them also seem like that when you watch them in first person. It's like they're very clean compared think, to a newer player trying these tricks and shit. Like in the in a just, dual tournament, if any of people have been watching that. A lot of the comments on Wizardish, one of the best players there, is that he's extremely he's extremely relaxed. He's just yeah. it's definitely very valuable to just be able to sit there and focus and not do anything. Because the crazier your mouse the less you can see of what's going on basically. Yeah. Definitely. And a lot of subtle drags are more valuable and harder to expect if you're doing small movements. Shout out to Trix, if, if anyone's able to spam this YouTube. Got some very good content about basic mechanics, which everyone should watch. Shout out to Django, if anyone's got his YouTube. Some very old montages. Yeah, got, got some extremely got some montages of the PAX alt mode before it was nerfed. Got some chivalry content there as well. Yeah, I was having a bit of a stalk of you boys yesterday, and I saw Jangle's channel and Nacho's channel. Not my channel. Feels bad. <laughs> yeah, well, your videos are unlisted, Gander. Yeah, my, like 90% of my channel's content is just unlisted. But there is a video. Got almost 4,000 views. Not, not to flex too hard. <laughs> I guess maybe back to a bit more serious commentary here. I mean, there's not too much to commentate in this game, it's a bit of a stomp. Let's commentate on what CQ are doing right. I know it's probably just going to be everything, but switches. like... They're switching really well. well. Nacho, Nacho seems to only attack someone once, and then switch to somebody else, and let the team do the rest. You see there in that 1vx they missed on purpose to kill that last guy? To bait out his parry. Focus the commentating on tips for us noobs. Okay, so what Good Evening did really well there, as soon as he saw Juice do a target switch, he just ran behind him and hit him with an overhead because he's facing the opposite direction, trying to switch. And that's that's what we mean, because they always punish switches. Like, if someone's facing the other way, trying to attack a teammate unexpectedly, you gotta help the teammate. Can we get a first person view on Nacho? I don't know how much of his ego we want to pump up. <laughs> There's only one round left. Let, let, let's for the, it. for the newer players, players so give them yeah. give them this last round in Nacho's view. Yeah. Nacho using great sword, which I don't actually see from him too often. It's mm. definitely a good weapon. I think. Well, I know exactly. Like, CQ oh man, the trick that guy guys. one combo. <laughs> I think, well, I don't think because I have big, big steamroll from CQ. I think a lot of people expect it. 